Okay, YouTubers, good morning today. Today we're looking at the BMW F30 and we're looking at certain things on the car. All right, so far so good. This is um, Easter D here. When we run calculate uh, measure plan, it says FEM and ZGM need to be updated to the latest ISTEP target that is on the laptop of, you know, 19 November 538 and so on. Now we can click on vehicle information here and go take a pre Uh, the control unit three and so on and so forth and um we're gonna update these two here all right with um we're gonna update these two here releases so we are going to um to file All right, we're, if you want to pay attention, um, we are going to update uh, these control models here, the, R, the, the ZGM and the FEM, okay? Hello, Hello Yeah. I'm going to update the ZGM and the FEM, okay? These two. Yeah. All right, we're going to update, I'm um, going to go here, just go to comfort mode and tell calculating, and then we go here, read. We'll right, right click. Hello? We'll do it. Hang up. Oh, shit. All right, read VCM. All right, we're going to click complete flash here and then click calculate. So. Okay, oh, the phone didn't hang up, you know? <laughs> yeah man the phone is hang on man. Alright, if you look at home, I'm gonna do a flash process, okay? Let me know if you're if you're interested to learn that. I was looking at everything. What is that? It's still like in the edit just looking at you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm telling you, it is like it's intriguing but boy I was like shit, where am I get so much brain power from? On a brain power, man, you just you will catch it one of these times, you know? Um, one day I'll show you, man. Don't worry about that, you yeah? know? Okay, detail info not, must not be in old. Okay, detail info must not be in old. All right. As you can see, the red files mean what is on the computer, the PSDZ data, that represent the, um, what's going to override the blue ones. Right. The blue ones are the actual state of files on the control model on the car. These black ones are actual state, but they are in black, right. meaning that they do not require any update over them. Right. You know? right. Yeah. But the red one means sol mean reference, what is called nominal, required, you know? Right. They overwrite the ones in blue, you know? And so on. The black, okay. Yeah. Blue need to be override, red override blue. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good, very good. All right, they have something called um, I I make a once I click when I click something like this that is called when I click that we get that error that error simply tell us that it says right here detail info must not be null for ECU ID and address for the FEM body so we can create a transaction list for this so um. Let me see if we come back again with the fault. And there's it. Generating tal fail. So, it's a detail info must not be known for ECU ID. All right, that can be solved. That need to be the DME, EGS, blah, blah, blah. SZD. Company to be updated. Combi are the right, right? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember a couple of the words. <laughs> no, Combi is the instrument cluster. Yeah. Yeah, and um, TRSVC, um, you need a coding file and you need also a software flash file to it. Okay. 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 Ok
food in the mouth, right? Like, you know, some suppose can't lock the car from any of the four door. We can't angle lock it from the right, left door, right, right door. Yeah. Can't lock it from the other door. I'm like, why is this car playing with me? Yeah. All right, FEM body, it has what they call, um, you click right here and then we go new and it said ECU detail info must not be known. As you can see there, we put it right here. So we save right. it and then we go back here to comfort mode and then we load. It's gonna say, would you like to reload in a module? It said another module, our application has updated the file, said yes. And then we kick tal. Let us see if we get any more exceptions. Oh, we get an exception this time that says detail info must not be null for ECU ID REM on other 72. All right, this sometimes is problems. I don't know the reason why the detail info. Maybe it's the version of ECU need to be upgraded. I don't know. But usually, um, other 72 here. There's a lot more ECUs probably need detail info. I have to check all of them too. I'm gonna to check all of them down the line and look if they have detail info. That one has. That one has. Yeah, I'm say ECU info, okay. That ECU info, has. right. Uh, ECU info, okay. That one has. See? You're right, I'm gonna learn eventually. <laughs> we catch that part. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that has. No. Oh yeah, that has. Yeah. Yeah, I will put one in a film. Yeah, I will put one in a film. So what you're doing is putting a folder for it to put information in. Yeah, I'm adding I'm adding a subfolder called ECU Detail Info. Right. Yeah, it's not there, but it should be there, but I do not know. Um, if it's my ECS version is the problem, but I just added there for, you know? Right. Yeah, because I I can add it there, you know, if that's a part of the technical skill of this work. All right, let's just say this is like it's the only one. Let us check if it's okay now. Let us see if we calculate total problems. Wow, three tall lines, meaning that REM, there's a missing CAFD file. Um, well, because I guess your software version needs to be at least 2020 of either March or July. And it's saying that there's a CAFD coding file and a software flash file for the rear electronic model is missing. All right. All right, to take care of this problem. Oh, this is not my software version. Remember, it's a chain software version. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 21 events. Wow. All right, so REM. Let me do it again. Let me see the error. Total lines. REM. All right, total lines is out. So we're going to save this transaction list as. Then we'll go here, editors and viewers again, and then we'll go to tile editor, click on that. We're gonna load a transaction list that we created, and then we're gonna we're gonna type in REM. Then we're gonna take out tal uh, tal ID2. And then we're gonna click search again. We're gonna take out all of them that say tal for REM. In order to run the transaction list to program a car, we have to take that out. Otherwise, when we're gonna process, it's gonna stop it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna put us, it's gonna give us a problem. We're not gonna execute it. It's gonna show non executable for REM. So we have to take this out. Yeah, and then we save this now. Then we go back here to confirm mode. Then we load the module again. And then we go back here, expert mode. And then we go to tile processing. And then we now click here, this ellipsis right there. Choose the same tile that we just edited. Ah. We have a problem here. C details run error. Okay, something is going on here with PSDC data. I don't know really what's causing this. 
uh, black white list model to your create table can then black white list blah 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 maybe this guy system needs to be updated i don't know oh this error could be due to java all right so we're gonna click so reference and then we click read all right should we get errors now we're gonna just do one control model we're gonna find some control models that is simple to code let us see if this one code okay that is a TRSVC camera. We're going to see if that one coded. Let us check software availability. Yeah, we're going to see if this one takes a software deploy and a CD deploy. Let's click start. And then we rock and roll. All right, we just wait. Let us wait and see if we get any errors. All right. Want to see those percentage numbers are increasing from one percent going all the way up we are in progress you know so we have just wait and see hey next time remember to plug in the laptop okay yeah no the one plug we are so we are um we are watching battery and we are watching charge up on the car so we have to use the one plug in the car Active. Oh, is that a shop or is that a go to or yeah, the shop, but we don't know what we don't need in a plug. No, you can't talk so stupid. Bro, you have to buy a socket, you have to buy a six six plug socket and the long fifty foot extension. <laughs> you have to have that. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the extension socket, bro. Is this a job? Are you guys, this guy's gonna pay me or what? Remember, I said, I'm telling you, I just, you know, telling you, you know, what's going on, making you know what is this, how much people do this. Is I think someone can't make him call your work, you know. Oh, a theme care? Yeah, a theme person, yeah. Oh. A Ken Brenner. Ken Brenner, okay. You might rush up it, everything from the BMW F30. Just tell him to buy one of the BMW G, the man done, man. Is it? <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's like, it's like you might have a problem with this because it's like, what happened? It's kind of like, it's a loose island, you can't tell where the island go. You know what I'm saying? You might replace it right and then just get the arm, um, something with the arm, um, the, the, the return island. Yeah. With the turbo. Then I'm going to tell you, let me know if that black or what. Yeah. Can keep having problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get about it by error. How the hell? He just asked me to come to the plug-up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm biscuit to run. Um. Yeah, the FEM is not here. I wanted to do the FEM.
All right, I don't know should I do so much control mode one time. I should take over that. Fuel pump, LMG. You need no one. We need that extension. This one right is for two things plug in eye. Actually, I'm going to the bathroom, I'm walk out. I'm going to the bathroom now. Good, 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 good. Wow, phone charge. Bloop, bloop. Oh, what the bird is coming in with the walls and the flash up. Alright, it's almost finished now. Coding file. Red bar. Alright, red bar. Alright, the booty 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 booty. All right, see. Um. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and over read out the speaker. All right, we coded this. All right, so no problem. Time to do the DV now. Wow, on to the internet. Internet jump off. Yes, sir. Yeah, the internet cut out. Um, where we connect to it? In phone or to a shop? Uh, eh? 
the internet cut out, man. We can't click on the screen anymore. What what him connect to? To him phone or to the shop? The shop. The shop. All right. It has shows that the internet is there on the screen. Yeah, man, but we're not clicking anything. I can't click anything here because Team Pure is not getting any internet feed on your side. On, on your side, you know. Somebody on. turn uh, on turn on the tethering on your phone and let it talk to your phone, okay? Hold on. Yeah, because I can't. Hold on, let me um. Hold on, let me re re reconnect. I don't know why. All right, all right, all right. Me ask you something now. Wait, me ask you something. Okay, leave it. yeah. We just reset the internet. Yeah, leave right. it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Me ask you something now. Leave it, leave it. Okay. I'm going to program DME and the EJ's right here. Right, okay then. Come be a later. Uh -huh. And the RE and I just sent it to you. Okay. Yeah, man, terminal fifteen is on. Yeah, yeah, he's all right. All right, DME flashed. Uh oh. The DME is flashed, and the EJ is flashed. The Procom flashed. FZD flashed, and this is flashed, and TRZC and uh. Airbag module. I don't flash this. The PIA master. It has to flash by a DHCP rotor. It has to come in. Okay. Yeah. It has to flash by a modem. Um. You have to have. You have to have at least two one fifty feet or two two hundred feet cat six Ethernet cable. One plug to the I command laptop and the other two ends plug in the back of the modem port. So let me go back to the style calculating and look. All right. That is to be programmed by a rotor. And um. Rear electric module. All right, I'm calculating over transaction list again. I'm so let me see what comes up. Well, it's only the RE, REM can be flashed and other 72, but um, let's wait and see. Um, um,
Alright, R-E-M. Mickey is way too soon to do that. All right, Ari, I'm gonna show up here. I don't know why, but uh, all right, so far so good. This is not showing up here. I don't know. Ari, I'm gonna show up. All right, we're gonna disconnect from Uses now. Boom. Um, lock that off. I'm gonna remove this and release. Alright, boom. We're going to connect back wire. I'm gonna close this session here. Take me one step wide, right? <laughs> That's not the word. We lose that brand new phone. Yeah, I'm gonna restart it here. I'm gonna restart it here. Yeah. Then I run this study again because I program the airbox, so I have to go and perform airbox lock, you know? Right, right. And so on. So we restart and uh, we wait. Reconnect. Come on, fly up. In BMW, really. Password. Oh, <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Are we the Ken Garage today? Eh? You at Ken Garage? Yeah. Ken Garage today. Oh, okay. And then we'll come get trapped. Okay. I'm going to re-pull it off again, period. The screen come up on your side? On my side? Yeah, don't click nothing. It doesn't show up. on, on The desktop doesn't show up yet on my side. I, I think it's the internet. Oh. It's weak as internet. Oh, it has come up now. Shit. Just start to have come up. Can't need to replace that computer, man. I'm buy a much uh, MSI, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we can't see the screen now, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him to us, a little clear. Yeah, man, it really needs to get thrown away, you know? Oh, the firewall reactivated. Turn on Windows services. Oh, the stupid firewall reactivate itself. The fucking windows turn on itself. Stupid bullshit. Oh, 
Um, what's up, Dennis Hall? You come through that pretty slow, man. It's really fucking slow. I don't see. All right, Terminal 15 is still on, right? The laptop is bullshit, you know, it's crippy, it's crappy, you know? Yeah, man, you need to buy an MSI, man, I want to use high speed processing gaming laptop if he has the money to do it. And, um, you know, we need to, because it's that, they fail to connect back, you remember when they try to reconnect? Yeah, they say, they say that, yeah. And we have to restart the laptop to refresh the files, and when I pass the laptop, you know, have to do that, you know, you just reconnect back and then give me a seat. And that is why we couldn't do a weaker test with the present um green number that is in it. We have to close out that case for it. And it's gonna take forever to go through the control mode. The laptop needed to, to be blown off for it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of them. Yeah, 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 bro. No, man, just give me phone and give me a call, man. You see? Yeah, I'm gonna want number one if you have to, man. You see? I'm not too. Uh, I know, man. I'm gonna want to have to say, I'm there. You see? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's, yeah, that's a my one. Is it? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm here. <laughs> Uh, no, see not yet. You can't hang up, man, and make him call me, man. You see? Yeah, I got the vice me. No, I'm gonna chew you up on the line. Yeah, okay, okay, the one line shit that you have, my own. I know me, I'm a metro PCS, I know me, I run in network, not them. <laughs> Alright, you can have two lines that you can't switch over. Alright, then I'll start. Yeah. Well, hold on, two lines means say, two people can call you? Yeah. I know that's it, mean, man. Two lines means say, I have two different numbers. I have the feature there now. I have the feature there now. I can merge call line or put a call up on hold. I have the feature there now. Okay. Yeah, I have it now. I'm going to go up the one there and talk to you there. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So we're going to do a lock in airbag now. Go to body. We go to lock in security feature. Lock in. Ouch. No, safety function right here. I choose this ABL. Run display. Gonna lock the airbag now. Alright, airbag is locked successfully. Boom. Go over to troubleshooting and delete the file code for that. Our airbag control model must come back green. All right, so
Wow, DME is at fault. Wow, really? DME is at fault. Oh, charging pressure sensor. Pressure before the throttle valve too low. Oh, this is probably terrible. All right, so far, let me go to software update. Let's see what measure plan calculate which control unit need needed to be updated. It should only be the REM or the ZGW. Uh, it'll be FEM body and REM. Bloom. All right, any unit does not have invalid IP address. What would be cause condition now? If the test has already been worked through, click on apply pressure measure. Let's start. Alright, FEM and ZEGM need to be updated. Should I do this? Let's try. Whoa, that dude don't call me, like you mentioned, for PM on. Repair Ethernet CIC module, programming FEM, programming ZGM, encoding FEM, blah, blah, blah. All right.
Oh, good game, man. No worry, man. All right, I'm programming up. I'm programming doing some follow up operations. Um, one part of the car control model program, the um, the FEM program, ZGW, I'm going to program Combi, REM, and um, do some follow up operation. Just to make sure that there is nothing running over the driver windows. The doors, the windows are locked. I mean, I mean, there is no car that should be run over the, the window jumps, okay? Because the, the service function. So I initialize before we know regular research, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and so on. So yeah, we're just gonna run this for something over 30 minutes and then we um we're gonna delete fall code after that and then we look on what remains and then if it's a short circuit output then on those bolts we'll just replace those bolts and so on. No, the bolts was fine because everything came on. Okay, alright, no big deal, no big deal, no big deal. Yeah. Alright, just wait. Yeah. Okay, we just wait. Yes, sir, are you done? Yeah. 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 I changed the front bumper. Yeah. And I, when I drill the hole for the camera, I drill the hole too big. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so water got in there somehow. So and it's, it's after that, it was working. After the hole was a little, was, um, was too big, and then maybe about a month or so after that, it stopped working. Yeah. Okay. So it could, yeah, it could be the wire, because there's a wire that goes from the left to the right, it hit the bumper. Yeah. So it may have. That's with the the team that they all together. Yeah. So it may be having something to do with that. Yeah. So I may have to go and find a junkyard to see if they would have. I don't know how to get that out from them, but yeah. Uh, let's see how that works. Yeah. Better? Yeah, man, it's better. Yeah, man, something better. Sometimes the phone up noise in it, too much noise. It's so unclouded, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, but it's something better now. I don't know. Sometimes people call me sound like it has too much noise in the output of the speaker, but your sound is a bit more clear now. Alright. Alright. Yeah, so. yeah, with the little coding, that's the only thing that I really did. Like, um, so it's, it's an app that, that they let you modify little stuff on the car. Yeah. Yeah, I know being a coder. Yeah. But as far as like you were saying something about retrofitting the MVP and the into the CIC. No, because of certain features that people is looking for. With uh -huh. BMWs that have CIC, that you know the later cars they have that you know like Apple CarPlay full screen, and yeah. um, BMW apps tele services and so on and so forth you know so those comes in the later cars so if you can if you can trade in that car there and get some more money and then buy one of those G series you will be good to go you know. Hello. Yeah, would you like the G series? Well, car is car, you know, it's just that they have more features in it, you know? Okay, okay. Well, that's partly BMW too, because it's, um, with a BMW, I think, um, most of the stuff when they tell you lifetime, it's basically 99, um, twice at 99, um, lifetime is usually 100,000 miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BMW, they talk a lot of rhetoric, you know, a lot of interpolation about lifetime, no such thing. And they have this bullshit about, Oh, your transmission of lifetime, blah, 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 lie, bullshit. Yeah, it's 100,000 miles. Lifetime is 100,000 miles. Yeah. I didn't know in 100,000 miles, a lot of things will be hacking up on the car. Yeah, I'm at, uh, I think, 123 right now. Yeah. And that car is, uh, what, the 2012? 13. 2013. I got it 
two years ago, and I put over 60,000 miles on it. Wow, man, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, I like the 7 Series better. I just want to go for a Rolls Royce. I just don't have that money yet to buy one of them. Uh huh. You don't see much of those on the streets, though. I mean, they're all over, but people don't drive them out, you know what I mean? Because they're like probably special occasion cars. Uh huh. You can buy them, I mean, they are selling for their 100,000, 90,000, something. No, okay. Alright, you see how the combi failed? Programming with that red X. I wasn't looking. Alright, uh, I see it now, yeah. Yeah, because the combi and the, you know, the combi has to be programmed over on DHCP modem, you know, so that is why it failed. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that can be programmed later at some other time and so on. Um, just make sure that the driver's door is closed, all, all the doors closed because the window initialization might fail if the driver door is open, okay? Alright, the driver door is open, hold on. Alright, if the cards are run on the bottom of the door, you can close it up. Just make sure that when you close it, you don't drag on the card and disconnect the card from the, either the laptop or the icon, okay? Alright, hold on. Um, yeah. Card to the bottom? Yeah, that is why you should already have it running under the bottom of the door, not over the windows. Oh, you have it running. No, it's the door is open and it's, um, it's on the roof. You put the laptop the on car. the roof? No, no, no. The, the laptop is inside in the shop. The it's a long Ethernet cable. The laptop is inside in the shop. The car is outside. Oh, but the car did not run through the roof. No, the the, the door was open. That's what I told you. No, no, not through the roof. To, to the, the, it, the, the, the the icon is sitting on the roof of the car. Oh shit! Don't move it because if it move it, it might be disconnected. The Ethernet cable that is connected to it might. Um. Oh wait a minute. No, no, it's a, no, it's a long cable. It's a long cable, so you can move it without the disconnect yeah, terminal. Yeah. All right, you can put it inside the car, and then you know you can lock the door. You know. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Just close the door, and um, cause if the window initialization starts, it might fail. The door, driver door is open. All right, now it's closed now. Okay, very good. All right, we have to wait 21 minutes or less. All right, so I'm going to pause the video for now. Yeah, okay, all right. Look at the screen there. Uh -huh. All right, you see this right here? Yeah. The CIC is a CAN2, con body lines, a control area network tool, line fault, electrical fault there. Maybe some connection you have done that causes there's an electrical fault with the line from the CIC. That's what I was telling you to go back and pull it out and look at it and to see what. So I, I think it may have something to do with that bypass. Okay, well, all right. So, do you really need that bypass? Um, yes, because I use it for the Bluetooth. It's working fine. I have no problem with it. 
All right, no big deal. All right, no big deal. This fall cord right here is all about um, charging pressure sensor. It's all about the car has turbo. Yes. Yeah. So maybe it's a pressure sensor plausibility here. And so I said it very said. Uh, all right. Cool. No problem. And then this blame bus right here about the rear brake camera, yeah. So those are that's what they have. There are six fault codes, you know. Yeah. And then whenever you get the line for this one, right, the links there, then we can teach inside your camera. And these fault codes will, will go away. These one will go away. These three. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so on. And kind of finish for now. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. And what's the damage? Um, I can take. I can charge one fifty for this job. No big deal. No, I have Cash App or Venmo. Same number? Yeah, same number. Yeah, just type in my number. Um, or you're gonna see my name uh, there, like at Diagnose Beamer 12. I'm sorry. Yeah, try my number in Cash App and see. Just send a dollar first and we confirm it. And then I'll, I'll tell you that I get it and then you know it's correct, okay? Yes. Yes, All right, thank you. I'm gonna close out this case, okay? I'm gonna close out this case, okay? Okay. All right. Let me. Yeah. Okay, YouTubers. We finished programming this BMW F30 and so on and so forth. We're gonna close out this case. And that is our client there, Junior, and that's it. So. Um. So far, so good. This car has been um program updated. Certain things we do some retrofit. You know. And he wanted Bluetooth on the CIC and so on. Um. The Bluetooth and the CIC can work if you add um, a media combo box and then that can be coded in and the vehicle order be edited for it and then you know the CIC can be patched for Bluetooth um, and so on but you didn't perhaps do some research and all that but um, so far so good this is about an hour job so it's more than an hour because I have to stop the video every now and then to um, continue it and so on um it starts going through its things finish writing down blah 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 all right youtubers thanks for subscribing to bmw programming and encoding channel on youtube i am out boom